Well, the first thing that we need to do is, is compete on a level playing field with those against whom we complete the, compete. The, the Kyoto Accords, all those things set, set benchmarks for nations on consumption and type of fuel use and greenhouse gas emissions that vary based on the nation and essentially penalize nations who have been responsible heretofore, example given the United States. It's the very same thing that happened um, with, with, with uh, power rates as dictated by the federal government. Um, and, and types of power generation in Virginia and, and emissions reduction goals. And, you know, about 36 percent of our portfolio in Virginia right now vis-a-vis -vis production, production capacity is nuclear. And so we're very clean relative to our neighbors, and particularly Kentucky and West Virginia. And yet the federal government drops in a set of draconian regulations that says this percentage must be reduced regardless of what your capacity is generated by now. And, and, it, and it strikes me as a little bit short-sighted. It absolutely handicaps um, people who are doing well and holds them to a different standard. And it, and it really uh, rewards people who have heretofore been irresponsible. So what we need to do is set a uniform uh, sort of expectation as to what your production uh, profile should look like, whether you're China or India or the United States, and have everyone strive to meet those goals, understanding that some might meet them sooner than others. Um, it, it's hypocritical and, and denies the reality that we all breathe air contained in the same, um, the, the same um, atmosphere uh, to suggest that it's okay for, for China to build coal plant after coal plant after coal plant while shutting down uh, all that generation capacity in the United States. And it's short-sighted and absolutely denies the reality of the fact that we currently don't have the storage capacity to convert to a, a wholly renewable-based profile. So, Again, all of the above in the short term, moving towards sustainable, renewable energy in the long term and understanding that there's a technological gap that absolutely has to be bridged before that's anything other than pie-in-the-sky fantasy, uh, all the while working to bridge that gap.